Real Life Story of Tina Turn Since Tina Turner first stepped into the floodlights of stardom, her life has been a roller coaster that has taken her to the highest highs and the lowest lows. She came from difficult circumstances, which only got worse when Ike Turner set his sights on Tina. He got her started in the entertainment industry, but he also brought a lot of pain into her life. Tina eventually left him, but even once she escaped her husband it seems things kept going wrong for her. Despite an incredible career spanning decades filled with hit after classic hit, one of the greatest artists of a generation continued to suffer all kinds of problems. This is the tragic real life story of Tina Turner. Tina Turner had a difficult childhood. As a little girl growing up in Nutbush, Tennessee, Anna Mae Bullock, as it reads. On the singer's birth certificate, was the child of sharecroppers, Floyd and Zelma. Bullock. When Tina was 10 years old, her mother fled the constant fights with her. Husband, left her family and her home, in search of a better life for herself. According to an interview Tina did with Rolling Stone. Tina's dad eventually split. As well, forcing her to have to grow up quickly. During this time, she and her older sister Aline were raised by their grandmother, and when she died they made their way to St. Louis, where her estranged mother was living. These were the beginnings of hard times for the little girl who would grow to become one of the best-selling recording artists in the world. While living in St. Louis, Tina and her sister would frequent R&B clubs in the area. Although she was just a teenager at the time. It was during a night out at Club Manhattan that she met the man who would put a permanent bruise on her life, Ike Turner. Tina Turner was forced to go to a brothel on her wedding night. In Tina Turner's memoir, My Love Story, published in 2018, which was the follow-up to 1980's success, I, Tina, she opens up about her ill-fated marriage to Ike Turner in 1962. According to Tina, she accompanied Ike to Tijuana, Mexico for a quickie wedding at the age of 22. A far cry from her ideal wedding scenario, she went along with his plans in an effort to placate him and avoid further abuse. Following the ceremony, the couple spent their first few hours as newlyweds attending a live sex show at a brothel. That was decidedly not where she wanted to be, for obvious reasons. Tina describes her wedding night as being a miserable experience that left her on the verge of tears. The experience was so disturbing that I suppressed it, scratched it out, and created a different scenario, a fantasy of romantic elopement, she said in an interview with the Daily Mail. She kept the perverse details of her marriage a secret for many years out of sheer embarrassment. All hell broke loose when Tina Turner filed for divorce from Ike. In 1976, Tina Turner fled Ike Turner with nothing more than 36 cents and a mobile gas card in her pocket. According to a 2019 profile by the New York Times, the singer reveals that she was swollen from beatings, in debt, and didn't even take her wigs, she just up and left. Entertainment Weekly Records, she stopped in the first safe place she found, a Dallas Ramada Inn, and pled with the manager there to give her a room, which he did. Ike and Tina were in the midst of touring when she finally got up the courage to leave him, and although she was relieved to finally be free, it wasn't free and easy at first. A good number of promoters tried to sue to recoup expenses and ticket sales, and Ike himself retaliated. According to her memoir, My Love Story, Tina says that once she filed for divorce Ike would send his stooges to intimidate her. One night, according to Tina, they went so far as to shoot bullets into the house she had relocated to. She would get so scared that she'd sleep in the closet some nights. Credits, Kelly McClure Search, Vitor Hugo Lizard Leonard. Hello friends, if you liked it don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to the channel. 
strengthen our work, it is very importantly to widen the channel. I'll tell you, thank you.